it's this queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episodes five and six of Sugar Apple Fairy Tales. So let's go ahead and get started with episode five in three, two, one, go. Okay, so we're not seeing Jonas anymore, right? Of course. Ugh. Oh, when did he move? Uh -uh. Oh. Uh-oh. The wind is really pricking up. Right, then let's go. Stop, shut <laughs> Leave on <Otto> alone. <laughs> she positive baby. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, you look you a cutie. Oh. <laughs> and he immediately fell asleep too. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't steal that! She didn't do it! Yes. But not him. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It, seriously, even though she didn't do anything, none of them did anything. But wait. Oh, it shut it. Yeah, we just want to help him real quick. And in a way, it's also the right thing to do. I know that feeling, babe. <laughs> no, first name basis, please, and thank you. Well, I mean, that's proper, though. Yeah, wouldn't you want to, you know, show your work off to people? So they can see and then place an order. Fifty. Also, whoever his say you is, I, I feel like I know that voice. I, mm, 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 mm. I said, "Daddy." He's so fine. And it's worse with the music. You have to add good behind music on a hot ass man. I think you would make more. Uh oh.
making sugar. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Just, you know, uh, the kindness of her heart. Well, yeah. Eat, sleep, and drink it. Sense. I need a moment. Oh, my God, sir. If he did that to me, I'd fucking die. Yes. Yeah. Uh -uh. What? <laughs> Maybe because you seem a little bitchy. <laughs> exactly. No. Oh my god. Oh, that's him.
Even more beautiful. <laughs> of course, he's going to try again while y'all sleep. Nice try. Oh, it just... <laughs> she hit it! <laughs> Duh. No, no. At least she got to help you make it. And it was even more beautiful than the first one. <laughs> oh. Mm. It's very beautiful. You wanna... So <laughs> well, remember, it's a nickname. Well, you got to see it.
Yeah. Science is so fucking pretty. Why, Lord? Why can't my life be like an anime? Why can't I find a good looking fucking ass man who wants to take care of me? Even though I still want to be independent as fuck. But I still want him to take care of me. And be in love with me. He was sweet. Hopefully we get to see him again. That one is adorable, oh my god. For a moment, I kind of thought Benjamin was gonna go with her because it, the way it looked, she he was on uh, on the you know on the carriage and everything. But no, okay, so we're, we're still gonna call him Cats. He he is fine as fuck, fine, fine, fine. Like oh my god, praying to God right now that we get to see his behind again. That's a good looking man. I don't know who he's voiced by. We probably going to find out in a couple of minutes or by the time I watch the next episode and after before I watch uh, My Happy Marriage. But boy, it's fine. Like, if Shutter was not in the way for number one girl, he'd be number one. I mean, but like with this series, I can have multiple relationships with all these damn guys because they, they all good looking. Except Jonas. Fuck Jonas. Yeah, he he's a, he was very interesting at first, up until his true colors came out, and I was just like, nah, bruh. He's not, you and no. But, okay, the confection and just the, the, oh my god. It was beautiful. Oh my god. The level of detail and how very blue and green i cannot speak but how gorgeous and like oh my god if we could have seen just the placement of where the confectionery was going to be placed oh i would have been even more in love but especially it is oh my god he's carrying her goodbye um it was for a wedding i already know it was probably going to be like the centerpiece and such i mean you know future when i eventually decide to get married and have a really nice wedding and stuff i think not only will i have a cake because you're supposed to have a cake for people i think i also might have cupcakes as well i really want a really nice good sugar confectionery like just pretty and gorgeous and you know look somewhere in glass and be like yes look at this work of art I paid a lot of money for it, but look at it. Like, oh my God, it looks so gorgeous. Like, I paid good money for that. Good ass money to have that. Like, not probably as like the second centerpiece besides the cake, but still, that would be so pretty. Super duper pretty. Like, oh my God. But yes, he, like she, An has had not one, not two, but like several moments with different like, guys in the show where she like she she's shippable kind of really with everyone and such like i was kind of shipping her with cat in this like even though he seems like the type of guy who's very hard-headed and such and very much like not demanding demanding isn't really the word i'm thinking of but he is very like stern and straight but only because when it comes to his stuff and how much passion he you know cares about his work how passionate he is about his work and such and and i love that in a guy i really love when guys in general are just very passionate about the things that they really care about and stuff and so even though like yes it was all a big misunderstanding and such and you know i still got to have a moment to work with someone who she's admired i do also love the fact that he's like well you know you're also one of these too you're someone who does confectionery don't admire me you know, always stay to yourself and hone your craft and stuff. So hair once again is hoping that on, you know, becomes the best she can, even though, yes, yeah, she's in a place where it's currently cold as hell. Reminds me of the Midwest, Nebraska. Um, and you know, she's just, you gotta try, just keep on trying. You never know who will like walk past and be like, Oh my God, that is gorgeous. 
How much do you want for it? Can I place an order? This, this, that, and the third. You always have to stay true to yourself because that one day can turn into millions and millions and millions and millions. And you just never know. Never always do it for the money. Always do it because you love it. And that's what Anna's doing. She's doing it because she loves it. And she loves doing it. And it's her passion, not only for her mom and how she loved doing it with her mom, but she loves it herself. And I just... 10 out of 10 god dang it but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode six all right episode six in three two one go oh very superb on Yeah. <laughs> right? Stop looking.
Duke fell, right? Mm. Of course, because who else is going to take it on? Okay. Well, that is a steal. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Mm -mm. But uh, huh. where is he? Okay. So yeah, pretty much anyone's going to come. Oh. Gorgeous. Bye. Mm -hmm.
okay yeah what do you like of her okay yeah Isn't she also in the opening as well? Hmm. Good. I mean, because yeah, all fairies are going to be friends. Why would you want to control them, though? But... Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Already? Oh, you want to go? Oh, shut it up. Uh huh. Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? This mother effer. I'm thinking we never gonna see him again. And boom. Yeah, right. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm so obsessed with you. Whatever. Which she did, duh. Let's go. I wonder why the other pictures are all covered. Oh, he looks so good right there. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, with her, Liz.
Mm-hmm. Definitely. Make me a little, a little, just a little bit. Uh oh. Then why are you here? really don't like him. God, he can rot for all I care of. It's such an ass. Of course, like what else will you be here? I need him, I need him, I need him, I need him. That's a man. Oh. Yeah, but he still did like it. Okay. Got you. No? Oh, well, you shut up.
Unfortunately, yes. Dude, you're probably going to be competing with her with the rest of the dang series, so don't be mad about that. Oh, will you shut up? Honestly, that's a good way to end this episode. Okay. Number one. Yes, the Duke is very obsessive on this picture or pictures of this particular fairy. Now, my thing is, of course, hopefully when I do watch 7 and 8 next week or probably maybe not tomorrow. Today's Sunday. So either Tuesday night, because I don't really have as much things to do. Um, does he was he in love with her? Because it seems like that very much so. And hopefully if that is the thing or it's something else between them, you want to know what the story is between them. Like, why? what happened X, Y, and Z? Of course, I'm guessing she's not still alive, hence why there's so many paintings of her. But why at the same time were all those other paintings all covered and there were only two of her? The one that's in the main tower and then the other two that's in the other tower where, you know, on his way. What should I do? Now... Excuse me. Now that the fact that freaking Jonas is here again leaves a nasty taste in my mouth, but I get it. He he's a villain. He he's the anti, so of course he's the antagonist. He's gotta be here like 24-7 in a way. But it's okay. We're gonna have a good old fashioned match of sugar, and she's gonna beat your behind, and I'm gonna enjoy it. He's going home. He's not staying there. And, and it makes me wonder, like, yeah, what did his piece look like? I don't like the way he looking like that. Kind of scaring me a little bit. But, yeah, I want to know what his piece looked like. I mean, has he really honed his skills in the last time that we actually saw him? That's the biggest thing. Because, remember, he stole her piece. So, anything that he feels that he has, I feel like is genuinely not his work. When it is your work and you're honing your craft and you can tell when something is signaturally yours and such, that's the same thing of leaving like, okay, a trademark on videos, merch that you're making so that people will know like, oh, hey, this is by me or by, by such and such. And so that everyone knows, oh, yeah, this is definitely by this person and I definitely would buy again. And, you know, let me show this off to people. But yeah, because of the fact that he stole her piece and then used it. I don't believe him on anything. I don't think he has Jack Ish. Really? Like, I mean, and then, like, Kathy in her damn mouth. Like, mm, mm Like, I still like her, too. But because, you know, hey, her and Jonas are like this. Uh-uh. Go over there. To the side. No. No, 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 no. But no, no, no. Can we please talk about the fact that he carried her up to her bed? Like, oh. it is just a man. Oh, my God. Like, he, just once again, everything that I want in a man between him and, and freaking homeboy from uh, Happy Marriage and any other anime men that I have fallen in love with into the fall season. Like, oh my effing god, I cannot. I physically cannot. Like, it, it's too fucking much. Way too much. And I'm like, look, I already have so many boys in my harem. I, I can't have any more. But then when I see a really good looking guy, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I can have more. I, I have, like, several from the show now. Including cats from the previous episode. But, like... Hopefully, once again, we do get to see cats again. But yeah, Jonas, set your behind to the side. Nobody wants you here. Read the room. Read the room. Read the room. Go away. That's all I freaking want for Jonas. Get the fuck out and go away. That's all I want. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes 5 and 6 of Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. It's on Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Friday 
for episodes 7 and 8. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!